In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, PowerPoint presenter mode uh, within uh, a Teams meeting. To get started, I have an online class up and running, and I now want to uh, share my PowerPoint presentation uh, with my students. So at the top, I'm going to share content. Now I'm in the desktop version of Teams. So first of all, I'm going to select Browse and I want to upload the PowerPoint from my computer and I'm going to bring this PowerPoint in from my desktop I'm going to open that and now the slides from my PowerPoint presentation are displayed as well as my slide notes I've got my meeting participants along the bottom of the screen and also I can bring up my chat conversations as well and I can also see the participants as well within my lesson. As with any normal Teams meeting, the More Actions menu is available to you so again you can um, change your meeting options, you can start to record your presentation and also you can turn on your live captions as well. So here I am at slide one. As you can see, I've got the graphic and I have my slide notes as well. So then I go to slide two. As you can see, the notes change. And I can choose my slides just by clicking on them and I can go backwards and forwards through the deck. I do have beneath my displayed slide some options. So I can actually choose which slide I wish to visit from here. There are also some more actions where I can hide the presenter view so I don't see my notes. And again, by clicking the three dots, I can bring the presenter view back. I can also view my slides in high contrast, which cuts out uh, the background, it just gives me the images and any text. However, my students will get to see just the normal slide view as we would a normal presentation. So let's go over to the student view. And we're now looking uh, at Susan's screen here. So in Susan's view of the presentation, uh, she does have the capability of being able to scroll through the slide deck and if she does get too far ahead she can by clicking to presenter go back to the slide that's being shown by the teacher however going back to the teacher view you may want to stop your students from uh, scrolling ahead uh, during the presentation so to do that we've got this little icon at the top here and by clicking on it that puts a line through and that stops the participants from moving through the presentation on their own. So if you go back to Susan's view, she now cannot scroll through the deck and also the sharer is disabled the private viewing so she can't move through the presentation on her own and gets a message to say that. So I've come to my final slide and there's some instructions for a project and I've also placed in some videos for the students to watch. Now they're both the same however at the top here I've embedded this video so the students can play this on their own devices just by pressing play. One thing to note is that um, if a student is using a device that doesn't have the latest version of PowerPoint uh, downloaded, the uh, video will not play. Rather than embed a video into your PowerPoint presentation, an alternative way to show videos is to place in a link. Now my setup is a two screen 
So when I click on this link, it will open up in my second screen. There's a couple of things that I'll need to do before my students can see it. So I'll click on the link. That will now open up the video in my second screen. So I now need to stop presenting a PowerPoint and then show the film. I'm going to go to my share content button. Before I share the screen, I need to slide over the include computer sound button. Otherwise my students will see the clip but not hear any of the background music or commentary. I can now select screen one. And my video will then play with full sound and vision to my students. And so to recap, presenter mode allows us to view our slide notes and be able to see and use all the usual Teams meeting tools.